tonight, the high school soccer community is rallying around two teens critically injured in a crash on their way to school. Logan High School brothers still in the hospital tonight with a long road to recovery. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher with a touching show of support tonight on the soccer field. Lauren. Yeah, Mike and Dini. So the Logan High School soccer team, that team manager was the older brother involved in that crash. And knowing that the team players would have to come together a day later and play in a soccer game, the rival team de decided to do something to help. Players posed together before kickoff, casting aside competition for compassion. A Ridgeland soccer coach hugs the Logan High soccer coach as she holds a card signed by everyone on the opposing team. The coaches talked and just said we wanted to be supportive and wanted them to know that we are thoughts and prayers were with them. Just a day earlier, the Logan High soccer team manager was in a horrible crash with his younger brother. According to family and the GoFundMe, 18-year-old Kirabel and 14-year-old Surafel Mezfin were on their way to Logan High School when police said they crashed into a water truck. The brothers are in separate hospitals now with Kirabel the worst off. Family says he's already undergone emergency brain and heart surgeries. Knowing Kirabel's team was playing without him there, Ridgeline quickly rallied. The whole team came together and they made their posts and sent it out to all of their um, teammates and, you know, or just every all their friends. And um, yeah, within 24 hours, I had over 100 donations. So I was so touched by how many people. I mean, there were students to people that aren't even in the state that were donating. So it was, yeah, it was amazing. Raising thousands of dollars for these two brothers as their families focus on taking care of them with the hope of raising spirits during a horrible time. Yeah, I hope that they recover and I hope that they feel the support of all, the, all these people around them. I hope that they get that. Yeah, that team raised $4,500 in less than 24 hours, which will be a huge help to the family because they have to divide their time between hospitals in Ogden and Salt Lake City, plus other expenses that come along with that. And Laura, that team mom, says those donations are still pouring in tonight.